testing, testing, hello. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing great. Um, I know most of you guys like my whispered videos, but I'm sick and I thought it would be nice to utilize my sick voice while I have it. Not like I never get sick, because that's like the majority of my channel, but I figured I would just do just like a, a soft-spoken ramble. Don't worry, I don't do these very often, so if it's not your cup of tea, you can click off and watch any of my other videos, which are all basically just spoken rambles in different varieties, so you're welcome. I'm just kidding, but anyway, so I think I have the flu is what I have assumed because I basically, like, I had a fever for two days. <clears throat> I had a fever for two days and like on and off obviously I took Tylenol but you know I've been reading a lot I just read um I just finished The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides I don't know how to say his last name it was so good I'm posting like a, a mini book review I guess like probably later today or tomorrow, um, of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, but, um, I don't really know how to do book reviews very well, so it wasn't that good, but it's okay because it's basically just another, like, whisper ramble, so you can't go wrong with that, I guess. Sorry if I look like shit. I feel like shit. Years. But anyway, um, but after reading The Silent Patient, I was like, oh my god, like, I need to do more book-related videos or something. But it was such a good book, and I highly recommend it to people that like, like, psychological thrillers, because it was so good. Very good. It was one of those books, though, that, like, you don't learn about what's going on until a lot later. <laughs> So, it takes some, like, getting used to and, like, being patient. And then after that, I also read Jeanette McCurdy's book, her, like, memoir or whatever. Um, the I'm Glad My Mom Died. That was so good. I read that in two days. I read The Silent Patient in four. So, this entire time I've been sick, I read two books. Um, they were both really good. But, yeah. Um, I've been watching a lot of TV. I rewatched Ginny in Georgia. For you guys that didn't watch my favorite TV show video or whatever. Um, it's coming back January 5th. Which is so exciting. Um, and I had my girlfriend watch it because she's never seen it before. And I wanted her to see it. But, yeah. Um. I just gonna say but yeah I've missed so much work I am so behind with money but this is also like the first time that I've had a break from life in a while because even when I went on the cruise and I went on and I went to Maine um like on my vacations like with my girlfriend like sorry she's she's a meower she just like walks around and meows if you guys hear her in my videos i'm sorry come here um but even when i went to maine and on the cruise like i couldn't even relax because we had like things to do like events you know like we were going to bingo like stop we love bingo okay <laughs> We were going to bingo, we were going to, like, trivia, we were going to the bars, like, we were going places, you know? But to just sit here and do absolutely nothing, I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but for me, I have a really hard time not doing anything, 
I feel very like incomplete or something like I feel so guilty I don't know maybe that's just the way that I was like raised because my dad was very like go 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 my sorry my cat really likes to just like bug me anyway but yeah like my dad was very go 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 so like if I was resting it would be like get up we have things to do and I'd be like damn okay like I just wanted to sit here I'm tired but it you know it turned me into a productive person who wakes up early like I'm sick and I woke up at eight but still like you know I get to chill so it's been nice in that way like where I get to just like relax but I still feel that really uncomfortable feeling that I felt my whole life about like sitting still and not doing anything so it's kind of like a really weird feeling that I'm trying to get over um but it's definitely just like sitting in the uncomfortability it's so hard I don't know if anybody else feels that way I know that like like my girlfriend's the opposite like she has a hard time doing things like she'll sit in bed for a while and she has a hard time doing that stuff but like no matter how depressed I get like it's so hard for me to just sit in my bed and do nothing so I guess it's like a good and a bad thing you know like it's a good and a bad thing I'm still learning it's fine but anyway um, I've tested negative for COVID pretty much every single time that I've tested, so I'm just assuming that I'm COVID free and that I just have the flu because I had a fever, but yeah. Now I'm just chilling here with my cat. Um, she's running around meowing and I'm posting short videos because I feel like shit and I have shortness of breath, so like... I have a really hard time keeping my breath when talking and also yeah so sorry for the short videos I really apologize for that don't worry when I'm better in a few days I will be posting more videos longer videos um don't worry I got you guys but yeah I have a bunch of ideas um I want to get my girlfriend on here to do a tattoo tour because she has like 14 I think and um, they're all really cool and cute, so I want her to do a tattoo tour. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm still getting, I'm still gonna get my girlfriend to do the how we met, like, our story thing, because Nick's Ramble ASMR suggested that a while ago. Um, so we're gonna do that. But I also wanted her to do a tattoo tour, and I want to do mine, but, like, I have five, so it's not that deep. Probably won't even take that long, but hers will take a while. So that'll be a cool video. Um, deciding whether or not I want to add tracing into it or not. I haven't decided. We'll see. But um, I want to do like an urban legend type of video. And somebody suggested I do true crime. Um, I will look into doing that for sure. Definitely on my list. Um, I have a video. Um, what the fuck is that? Oh. Um. I want to do more book related videos um I have what did I say I was gonna do I wanted to do um I can't remember what it is now but it was on my list um yeah I have quite a few videos on my on my ASMR list of videos to make oh um I'm doing a slow whispered um, inaudible at some point. I tried to do it earlier, but um, my shortness of breath is not having it. Inaudible whispering is a lot harder than people think, I feel like, because it's like you have to say it without being too breathy, where like you're sending all your air into the microphone. So it takes a lot of like, you know, which I don't have. So I try my best, but. I think that's why I make them so fast because when you make it fast, it's easier to like breathe in the middle of it. I don't know how to explain it, 
but yeah. Anyway, that's this video. I know that people don't really like my short, my, what do you call this? My soft spoken videos, mainly because I'm bad at it, but, um, I figured I would utilize it for the people that like sick voices, like talking. And then, of course, every video I post after this will be whispered again. So don't even worry if this video is not what you like. Please click out. Click on any of my other videos. I'll make sure to post my book review tonight, um, right after this video. So that way, if you don't like my soft spoken, you still get a new video from me. But it's whispered. Best of both worlds. You guys have no idea how much I love doing this. Like, I don't think you guys understand. <laughs> but... And I love all your suggestions, and I love the community tab. I want to use it more. I just don't know exactly, like, what to say. Like, I don't want to use it just to, like, get video ideas. But I, that's what I just keep doing anyway, so I don't know. You guys let me know what I should do. I want to do more interactive stuff because I fucking love y'all. Like, dead ass. Like, this is, like, my favorite thing to do. I like wake up and I'm like, mm, gotta make a video. I talk about it all the time. I'm always going onto YouTube and uh, responding to comments and liking comments. Like, it fucking makes my life. Like, not even my day, like my whole life. So, yeah. Um, so, obviously, I'm gonna keep going with videos. Don't worry. I'm pretty much never gonna quit. I think I'm gonna be doing this until I'm old, even if it means that I'm posting less frequently than I am now. I think right now, sorry, I'm hungry. Um, I don't have like, I don't have like a set schedule, but I post, I think like two or three times a week. I try my best. These days I've been a little rougher than the others, but I've been pretty consistent with my two to three days a week. I wish I could post more. I know that, like, there's a lot of ASM artists that post so frequently. I don't know how they do it, though, because I work full-time. I go to school. Um, I, apparently, I get sick every five minutes, so that doesn't really help the, the cause. But, um, you know, I do this in between all of that, so I'm sorry if it's not as frequent as it could be, but I try my best. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Have a lovely day or night, depending on what time it is for you. Like I said, you know, if you don't like this type of video, please feel free to watch my other ones. Like, subscribe. If this is your vibe, of course, as I always say. Peace out. <laughs>